actually it's quite a, quite a big and long question and the answer could be even longer, right? Um, 5G, the way it is designed, it has been thought through as a security by the design. However, there are a number of challenges there. The, uh, one of the biggest issues with the security design in 5G, that number of uh, additional security matters are meant to be optional. And optional meaning that uh, service providers might do trade-offs um, avoiding implementing these kind of measures. Let me give you an example. Uh, there are a number of vulnerabilities known in 2G, 3G, 4G networks that allow, for example, interception of the voice call, interception of two-factor um, SMS that eventually enables fraudsters to empty the bank accounts of a, of a victim. Uh, 5G is supposed to address that. Supposed to address that uh, by increasing interconnect security. However, a number of measures related to the interconnect security has been made optional, specifically um, pri uh, private key uh, infrastructure. Private key infrastructure is supposed to cover actually all security vulnerabilities known on the interconnects for 2G and 3G, but if it is not implemented properly, then obviously the whole ecosystem might be vulnerable. So that's one of the issues that I see. Uh, additional issue that I see also that 5G core, for example, is, is based on the IT-grade protocols. So it's not as a seven set of protocols diameter anymore. We are talking about HTTP internet protocol. And that brings together with um, its flexibility and amount of tooling available, its traditional vulnerabilities. Therefore, the whole industry has to relook the, whole, the approach to the security. Um, actually, IT security companies have to think more telco grade and telecom companies have to start thinking more IT-like companies. And then I think we would be able to cope with that. But I do believe, like from our company perspective and uh, personally, that there are a lot of challenges. And if we don't approach properly security by design as stipulated by 5G, 5G core implementations, then we'll be living in a totally different world of cybercrime. Um, another thing to mention, um, within Mavenir, we are actually bringing together security and fraud. So, better to say proper security measures and anti-fraud measures into one single set of services and products. And unfortunately, 5G by itself doesn't address traditional fraud matters and that becomes vendor specific. However, 5G does um, allow vendors to implement uh, anti-fraud measures in much more elegant and nicer way, leveraging 5G elements like network data, uh, network data analytics function, which is being part of 5G core. And obviously when Mavenir implements that, then we're trying to leverage the whole suite. So meaning that uh, operators don't need to look around for extra plugin to deal with the anti-fraud measures. And fraud actually could be relevant to everyone. Like if your uh, phone account is being drained or uh, operators are missing revenue on termination fees or something like that, that is a fraud issue. And that un unfortunately is not addressed fully by 5G security. So the problem stays. However, 5G can facilitate for much more elegant approach to address it.